By the end of this episode, if you watch it in its entirety, I truly believe you are number one, gonna understand the common mistakes that people make that are impairing them from landing body shots. I'm gonna give you a list of drills so that you can start building confidence in how to properly execute your body punches, and then you should be able to leave, put all of this together, go to your next sparring session, and actually pull the trigger and start landing punches to people's bodies. It is now officially December, which I think now qualifies us for Christmas season. Anything beforehand to me is just too early, but X Marshall has sent me some awesome Christmas shorts and this awesome rash guard. If you guys are wanting to have some fun with your training apparel, head over to my link in the description below and use my promo code GabrielVarga where you can shop and just get some wild apparel. We're here for one reason, guys. We are talking about body shots. So many people, it doesn't matter if I'm doing Zoom privates or in-person privates, they say to me, Gabriel, I cannot get the confidence or the technique down to land my hooks, my straight punches, my shovel uppercuts to the body, something's off. Usually it's the exact same thing. People are making the same mistakes. So here today, I'm gonna to correct those for you. And actually, just because I mentioned the Zoom privates, for December, I am back to doing one-on-one -on -one lessons online through Zoom. You can book a session. I'm gonna have a link down below there. You can click on that, look and see my availability. These always fill up super fast, so jump on it quick. And I can work on so many things with you. I can talk about mindset. I can talk about training routines. I can talk about improving techniques. You can show me some shadow boxing we can make adjustments, really we can do absolutely anything. So let's start off and let's go through some of the most common mistakes that people are making while throwing body shots. Number one, they try to lean their head weight forward because they think the closer I get to my opponent, the less chance there is of getting countered. They probably tried throwing a body shot once or twice and then got countered and went, oh, okay, if I lean really far forward, I'm gonna be safer and they feel like they need that long distance. But this can be a mistake because once my weight is leaning forward and I have so much weight over this front foot, my rotation is very hard to accomplish. So I have no good power in those body shots. We wanna make sure that our feet are at that normal distance, whatever they are, and the head is between them. Don't make the mistake of putting your head in front of your lead foot. That's mistake number one. Mistake number two is people try to get smart. This is actually very smart. They try to get their head off the center line, but they forget that their head has to return. I can drop my head off the center line maybe on my initial punch, and then I have to get my head right back up. Otherwise, I'm here, and I'm trying to punch with my head way over to the side. We don't want our head in front, but we also don't want it to the side. Both are going to impair the ability to land any power. And let me tell you, if you have no power in your body shot, your head is just a sitting duck because people are gonna go, oh, it doesn't hurt. And the next time you try it, they're just gonna go, I'll take it and fire back and exploit that body shot. The third and final mistake that I want you to keep in mind is tempo. If I asked you to throw jab cross hook to the head, whether it's slow or fast, it'll be one, two, three. One, two, three, consistent pace. But many times when people switch levels and they go down to the body, it turns into one, two, pause, three. Or one, two, pause, three. That little extra time there is going to allow people to make the adjustment of blocking headshots and then they get that little pause and they can return their hands back down. When you are sparring against somebody who's a beginner or an intermediate, more often than not, when you attack the head, you're gonna see their hands rise up, which exposes the body. But if you give them too much time, their elbows are gonna come back down before you can land. So that consistent tempo of punches, whether it's four shots up high or one shot up high, it's very important to make sure that we don't take a pause. So those are some of the things that people are doing wrong. Now I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to sharpen up your body shots, how to feel more safe, and then things that we can do that we can practice at home 
We don't necessarily need partners. We can train this on our own. Things you can do to make sure the next time you go and spar, you're actually willing to pull the trigger. So as I already said, we want that nice consistent tempo. So the punches all come out one after the other, but sometimes that's not enough. Sometimes we're still gonna get countered. So what can we do to make sure that we build up that confidence so we know when we step in, we're as, we're as defensive as possible. Number one, and like I'll always say, keep your darn hands up. If I step forward and I come one, two, and then three, that's terrible. So really lock your hands to your head. One, two, three. Hand always touching the head if it's not punching. That's pretty basic. There's something else that we need to add in, and that's going to be shoulders when it, the arm extends, touching the jaw as tight as I can so that when I step in one, two, I'm really protecting my head as much as possible. And then when I go to my third shot, I can still keep that shoulder fairly high. Instead of being way down here with the shoulder where I feel really exposed, I can still come up with that shoulder and come down to the body. We might not do this forever when we throw body shots, but when you're wanting to pull the trigger initially, having that defensive backup really helps you in feeling confident. And of course, what your chin doing is gonna make a massive difference as well. If I step forward, one, two, everything's tight, but my chin comes up. Even if my hand's protecting me, I'm still really exposed here. So when I was starting to learn to throw body shots and I went, oh, I'm just gonna pull the trigger and I'm gonna try this, I went hands up, shoulders up, chin down. If I do all of that, and I just go with this set combo, which I usually do not advise people to do. I usually won't say, step in, pre-plan your combo, and then just execute. But I did this for body shots, and guess what? It worked for me. It 100% worked for me. I would just go, I'm gonna throw jab, cross, body shot, but I'm gonna do all those three things which I just mentioned, mentioned to you. Hands up, shoulders up, chin down and I'm just gonna take that leap of faith. Now, obviously, if I stepped in and I went, oh, this guy's moved, I'm not gonna continue. Or maybe he snaps out a hard jab, and I go, oh, I walk into it, well, I'm not gonna keep trying. So pick the right moment where you step in, and you're like, okay, I'm landing, and if they start countering, then you continue. With those three things which we mentioned, hands, shoulders, chin, you will stay fairly protected. I will say now at nine, I will say nine out of 10 times, if I just go forward, one, two, three, and I just throw, something's gonna land and I'm not gonna get countered. Now, obviously, hooks are not the only shots we can throw. We can also go long range, very long range, and we'll talk about long, long range hooks in a second, but right now let's talk about the body cross, because that's also a really nice shot, which we can do without having to think, oh, I have to be really tight to land this. So one of the easiest ways is to just go jab, cross, jab, draw the person's arms up on that same tempo, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, come down to the body, again, chin down, hands up, shoulder up to protect. The back leg, we have two different options. Number one, it stays fairly straight. Doesn't need to bend a lot. One, two, three, and I'm driving through this leg, pushing off the ball of the foot to get lots of power. Option number two, which I actually really like, I landed this a lot when I fought Sitman Chai in the Glory Four Man Tournament. Jab, and then I would bend this back knee and bring the knee down towards the ground so that any shots that are thrown at head level are gonna go over top. Danger being, yes, a lot of people are gonna say, well, you're dropping your head down, you're gonna get kneed in the face. But I'm not leaning forward, I'm just coming straight down, all right? Yes, if I see the guy coming with a knee, I might bail on it, but I've never had anybody throw a knee and feel like, oh, it's gonna hit me in the face. This back knee drops and I can throw, and again, one, two, three, four, or one, two, or one, two, three. It all works so well, and I feel so safe when I do it. Now, just to quickly backpedal and go back to that left hook, we didn't really talk about range before. We wanna throw all of these at the same time, so if I go long, long, and then really short, I'm gonna feel like I don't really have that opportunity to land. I'm gonna have to go one, two, step in, and then throw, and again, that tempo's off. So you can go a little longer with your left hook out to this sort of range, so it's not too much further than my jab. I just have to take my wrist, curl a little bit, land on the knuckles, and just wrap around the back of the elbow. The elbows are in here, 
Especially when you throw straight punches, people generally close their elbows off, then the side of the body becomes very exposed. So the further I can reach and wrap around, the more chance there is that I'm gonna land behind that elbow. Now let's talk quickly about drilling because I've given you lots of tips, but you might still be going, well, that's great. But how am I actually gonna put this into practice? How am I gonna build my confidence? How did I do it? I'm just gonna tell you exactly how I did it because it worked for me. Nobody instructed me on how to do this. I just went, I want to land body shots. I want to build confidence and actually be able to execute. What can I do? Very first thing, and I'm sure you guys are like me, very often in the middle of the day, especially if you're at home or in the evening, you just end up bouncing around and you start throwing some punches. And that's just common, at least in my life. So what I would do is I'm I would go, I'm gonna throw jab, cross, body hook, keeping everything that we talked about now in mind, fast tempo, one, two, three, hands up, shoulders up, chin down, long arm, all of it together, and I would do it 10 times, standing there. The more and more I did this, the more I went, okay, I've got this muscle memory in my mind. Once that happened, then it was just a matter of me getting into the gym and going, I'm just gonna let that muscle memory take over. I'm just gonna step in, boom, 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 and throw. And to my surprise, I started landing time and time and time again with that one combo, just because I repeated it, bang, bang, bang at home, bang, bang, bang at home. Could be on the bag, could be in shadow boxing. You could start adding that other combo, which we talked about, long, long, long down to the body, long, long, long down to the body. And the more and more I did it, the more I went, this is not that hard. Why was I struggling so much before? Again, to me, it all comes down to a couple basic things. Don't take your head off the center line and hold it there. It's gonna be terrible, forward or sideways. You could do that for a split second to slip, but then you gotta come back with that head in between the feet. Don't make the common mistakes like one, two, pull your hand down to your hip and then throw the body shot because you're open for far too long. Keep all those basic things in place. Drill until it feels supernatural and you feel like you have a shell around you. I think that's the big takeaway from this episode is I always felt like when I step in, boom, boom, I have this massive shell protecting my head and I don't need to be scared. Commit to going up high and then when you know that their hands are up and there's that little hole, come down to the body, but protect yourself as much as you can with those limbs, with those shoulders, dropping that chin in, bite down on your mouth guard, tighten your stomach and you feel like, oh, even if this guy counters me, even if he does something which I was not planning on, which is basically him just trying to block the shots, it doesn't matter because things still work out. Like I said, guys, this for me, 100% worked. I've worked on this as well with some of my other students, even guys who spar with me, and it's worked for them. I have a 100% success rate teaching people when I break it down the same way that I have for you today. So if you've been struggling on your body shots and you watch this entire episode and you actually drill, not just for a day, probably a couple weeks or a month of firing off shots, thinking about defense, then coming down to the body at different ranges, mixing up from long shots to the cross. If you actually do this, you will start landing your body shots. And that's pretty much what I'm trying to do on this channel always is help you guys improve without actually being able to be in the gym with you. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. If you haven't already, join the channel, get subscribed. As always guys, train hard. I'll see you back here soon for another video.